So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're gonna have a look at how we move a clip and its transitions at the same time. Now, if you add transitions to clips and then move the clip on its own, the transitions don't automatically follow. So this very quick tutorial is just gonna cover that one point. So if we select a clip here and we'll come to our transitions, we'll come to our dissolves, and we're gonna add a cross dissolve. The shortcut for this is Command and T, or we can select a clip and double click, and it will add the transitions on either end. Now, if you get a message that pops up saying that Final Cut Pro is going to shorten the clips, then take a look at some of my other tutorials on working with transitions in Final Cut Pro 10, and that will explain why that shortening of the clips happens. So, basically, what will happen here now is if we take this clip, click and hold it, and then drag it to a different spot in the timeline, we'll end up with these two transitions and this dip to black, which we don't want. So I'm just going to undo that. So I'll come to Edit, Undo Move, or... Command and Z. And so what we're going to do is hold down either Command or Shift and just select those other spots on the timeline. And that will allow us now to drag the edit and the transitions at the same time. One other point um, to mention about transitions as well while we're in here is that there's three different spots on the transition here. One will move the transition without changing the duration of our overall timeline and the other two spots either side will shorten or lengthen one of those two clips either side of that transition. So it's doing a ripple um, either side of that particular clip. So we can see that either not changing the length of our small edit here or shortening or lengthening the edit depending on whether we drag left or right on the in or out point of those two clips. So. If we click here once, hold down Command or Shift, we can select all those elements and then move them to a different spot and then use these options to shorten or lengthen our clips or move the transition either side. If we want to lengthen the transition or shorten the transition itself, we can click below this just on the left or the right and that will allow us to shorten or lengthen the transition there as well. So there's a few quick tips when you're working with transitions in Final Cut Pro 10 and looking at how we can move transitions with the edits that we've made to a different spot in the timeline. I hope that's been useful and if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 then leave a comment below or I will see you on the next tutorial.